Journal Record Managing Editor of Digital Products, Dave Ray, joins us now to discuss stories making headlines in business this week. Dave, Chesapeake tops our list again as the natural gas giant lost an appeal in Texas. That's right. There's, there's four uh, shareholders, uh, stakeholders in Texas that sued uh, Ches Chesapeake in 2008, claiming that they had backed out of some sales agreements for mineral rights. Um, they won their judgment, and uh, Chesapeake has appealed, and they just lost that appeal. And a U.S. District Court judge in Houston has ordered them to pay uh, $100 million. Another Oklahoma company has announced plans this week to expand the Utica Shale pipelines. That's right. Williams Partners, has uh, they announced Tuesday that they're going to fund a joint, uh, a, a joint venture with uh, Cayman Energy. And they're going to produce midstream equipment uh, that'll take, that will help gather and produce and transport oil out of that area uh, known as the Ohio Valley. Here's an interesting story. Oklahoma will soon be getting its first co-housing development. Tell us more about that. Pat Darlington and Kay Stewart three years ago came up with this idea that they've parlayed into a joint venture, uh, uh, seven and a half acres in Stillwater. It, it's, a, it's a real estate development known as co-housing. And what they're gonna do when they finish, they're not quite finished yet, they're gonna have six units. Each unit has uh, one common building that, that facilitates, has a kitchen, has a, a media room, things of that nature, an office, a shop, and then attached to each of these is four individual uh, living areas, residences. So th the common room will be about 3,500 square feet. Each residence would be about 1,000 square feet or less. Dave, construction is planned to begin in Tulsa this fall, and Tulsans will be relieved to hear it's not on the highways. That's right. Developer John Bumgarner is going to add 51,000 square feet to the Utica Place 11-story uh, tower there in, in Midtown. Um, the tower is built in 2008. It's uh, part office, part residential. And it's, in fact, the last Class A office um, project that was done there. So that's great construction, and it's not on the roads. Dave, what are you working on for next week? Well, the, the second biggest mall, uh, Promenade Mall in Tulsa, is now officially for sale. And our, uh, our, our Tulsa Bureau Chief, Kirby Lee Davis, has put a call into the broker. And next week, we're going to bring you all the details on that. Dave Ray from the Journal Record, thanks for joining us.